Hello and welcome back to a Kooky Corner of YouTube. If you are new here, welcome! If you are not new here and you've been here a while, welcome back because today I'm going to be having a look at um, a craft subscription box. Now this is a, a stitching box uh, per se. Um, it's by a company called CraftPod and they do um, I think it's a quarterly subscription, but you can buy the boxes separately and singularly. Uh, I think they have their own website, but they also have an Etsy shop as well, where they put the extras that they don't use for their subscriptions. And this is one that I have bought as a singular box. I bought one a few years ago, which I gave to my daughter, and this one really grabbed my attention. You can you can see what you're going to get basically it's not one of those sight unseen boxes and so i was really taken with this one it's the autumn 2023 box and i just thought you guys might like to see what i got inside so let's have a look inside and um have a look at the goodies somewhere i've got my trusty cat paw <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but we'll grab it anyway. The box is beautiful. I love all the decoration on the box. Um, oh, I don't need it. <laughs> we have one of the lovely pull tabs, which I enjoy so much. Okay, let's have a look see inside. So it's Craft Pod. I'll give you the, the website and stuff in the description box. So, this is what we're greeted with. We've got, hello and happy autumn. It's our favourite time of year and we're celebrating the arrival of autumn with two cosy autumnal crafting projects. The first is a sweet embroidery of a squirrel sitting in an autumn wreath and that's what grabbed me. <laughs> he did that squirrel. Uh, using long and short stitch for a squirrel to create a furry, a fluffy furry texture. Second project is three little felt toadstools. Again, felt, toadstools, I'm in. Um, and there's also a mini postcard pack for you with four A4 vintage mushroom illustrations. Oh, excellent. And a delicious cup of organic rosehip tea to enjoy while you curl up and craft. Well, wow. how lovely is that? Let's just take you up a little further. I don't know whether just to lift this out of the box. Maybe, probably an idea. I don't want to damage the sticker. <laughs> Came off nicely. So we're in. So there's that little Health and Heather organic rose hip tea, which I will be trying later on actually. I'm fancying that. A tantalizing rose hip infusion with a rich fruity flavour. I've had some of these Health and Heather before, I believe. I bought some before. So the first thing we come across is this beautiful palette of colours, the DMC um, threads. So we've got 801, 919, 301, 783 and Ecru. I, th I think that's how you say it, Ecru. It's a French word, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But beautiful threads. Oh, sorry, missed one. And 780. So 780. So we've got six DMC threads in there, which is rather lovely. We have a little hoop. I'm used to these at this time. <laughs> uh, this is a nice hoop to use. Brilliant. Perfect for framing your project in as well. And I will possibly even paint that like I did for my arty farty um, prompt list uh, hoop. So that's, that's an idea. I could frame it. It's a five inch hoop nice size for this we have got oh this is pure wool felt nice that feels really nice i like that that's lovely we've got a little a little um spool of black which i presume is dmc black thread these must be the four postcards We'll look at those in a moment. We have needles and pins in there. A needle, two pins. That's very cool. 
I like that little glassy and bag that they're in as well. Then we have a colour guide for our squirrel. Okay, so they've actually given stitching the directions shown by the arrows. This will help your stitches look like fur. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I love that squirrel. Beautiful. So we've got a key colour of all the colours along the bottom which correspond in the picture. That's awesome. We have, ah, it's also printed. How cool is that? So it's printed on there. Beautiful. You can just frame that up and get going. How clever is that and easy to do? Lovely. And we've got this, which I presume is maybe for the mushrooms. But I don't know. Let's have a look at the instructions, shall we? <laughs> so we've got autumn squirrel embroidery. You have got a beautiful fold out leaflet to explain exactly what you need to do with that lovely little squirrel. I'm going to so enjoy this. It's going to be like a complete relaxation piece for me. Beautiful autumn squirrel. And the felty toadstools, as I expected, the, um, the base is made from the calico. So we've got the calico pieces and then you use a felt top. How lovely are they? And it's really nicely for, for photographed, photo, <laughs> photographed, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Really nice photos of each, each piece as you're going through it. So that is excellent as well. And then we have the toadstool pattern. So we've got a pattern to cut out all the pieces for that i'm going to keep that inside there how lovely are they i'm going to put that in that, that one as well all oh, good so two projects to do in that kit i am well impressed i think i can remember being impressed with the, the last one that i got that i gave to my daughter but that is now all ready to be hooped up and that's for the toadstools that's nice and fine beautiful Beautiful fabric. These are the. Don't want to. Don't want to ruin. <laughs> don't want to ruin the thing. It's not going to let me, is it? No, it's very tightly on that. I already ripped it. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Let's go for it. So these are the. I'll just, illustrations of the um of the mushrooms the little postcardy things how good are they great for reference actually love those and they would be nice in small frames as well <laughs> just thinking ahead oh i'm really really impressed um so yeah that's what i got in my kit i think it was 20 i think i got it for 20 six pounds which i don't think is bad for um, a subscription kit with all these threads in it two different projects which are of very good quality and um all the implements in order to make them so that's the kind of thing that i want from my um subscription kits um as i said you don't have to pay for a yearly subscription you can just buy one-off boxes the yearly subscription is slightly cheaper. It is available word worldwide, but the postage is going to be different for wherever you are. But that's all explained on the website. And um, also, CraftPod have um, a YouTube channel where they describe some of the stitches or show you how to do some of the stitches as well, which is very handy. So, yes, really looking forward to getting into this. I hope you have enjoyed looking at inside of this craft box and i will update you as to how i get on with this because it looks to be very easy to follow and i'll be able to ex see how i got on and i can tell you how easy it was to do or or not <laughs> as may be the case um uh, further along down the line but i'm going to really enjoy putting this one together 
and I hope you go and check out Craft Pod and their beauteous boxes there are lots of other ones there's a beautiful sunflower one that I was tempted to buy as well there's a master class which is a bit more expensive but i think there's more to it um yeah loads and loads of stuff so do go and check out craft pod you can check them out as i said they've got their own website and etsy but i will leave the links to craft pod down in the description box for you to go and check out Anyway, that's enough from me for just now. I will be back very shortly with something else and I've got something um, quite nice to show you. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So don't forget, like and subscribe, show me those thumbs. And also, if you subscribe, you can click on the bell and it will let you know exactly when I do an upload. Have a great day. I will see you very soon with something else. Bye for now.